What's really good? We back in the building. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the Boston Clinic early morning grind. And uh, I turn this afternoon, maybe. But um, no, I'm starting to heat up the debate between, you know, Josh Taylor and Regis Prograce, the guy, the kid out in New Orleans that resides in Houston now, um, you know, who was a good amateur but always fell short versus Errol Smith in most of the uh, the finals and, you know, lost to him by a hair in the Olympic, you know, lost to the Olympics or something like that I was hearing. Um, and he got a lot of hype around him right now. He hasn't had one of those, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, concrete fights yet. They'd be like, all right, he's solid. You know, he, he legit, you know, as far as a contender going into a world title fight. But he will be taking on Victor Postal, um, which should be a good uh, uh, litmus test for him. Postal is uh, coming off of a fight over there, wherever he's from, in Ukraine. He got dropped real hard and, you know, fought to a tough decision. Um, so we'll see, we'll see, it'll be a good fight for Pogace, because, uh, you know, uh, you know, Postal can do some things in the ring, he can box and move, and, you know, Pogace was on, uh, Facebook Live doing an interview with, uh, Cray, uh, Mr. IBTA, uh, Boxing Talk, you can go follow IBTA Boxing Talk on Facebook and YouTube, they got the group, got the Facebook popping, um, got the YouTube channel popping, shout out to Cray, and said that he, he's aiming to outdo Terrence Crawford by knocking out Victor Postal, um, and Crawford went to distance with him. And, you know, Josh Taylor destroyed Miguel Vasquez la- last night. And uh, he had his litmus test last night, and he showed that, you know, he's potentially a world-class um, type of fighter. And um, I think this will be a great fight down the line. I think I think Taylor is going to be the best 140-pound fighter. Julian J. Rock trainer Stephen Bredman, you know, agrees with me as well. And I'm not the only one that actually sees the uh, – that sees the potential – um, that uh, Taylor has, you know what I'm saying? Um, he's a he's a solid, he's a real good solid fighter. Um, he got a lot of boxing ability. Um, he can fight inside. He showed yesterday with Miguel Vasquez, who's a very savvy vet who can fight on the inside. You know, Vasquez who can fight on the outside. Taylor, I did him on the outside for the most part. He made the adjustments. He has more dimensions to his game, in my opinion. And um, you know, a lot of people are gonna wake up to Josh Taylor once they see him on. Uh, American TV, but, you know, I, I pay attention to UK boxing as well because, um, you know, I just I just see the rise of UK boxing. I might talk a little ish about him, but I see the rise. I see the talent level rising. You know, Yard, Taylor, DeGill, Groves, Ebanks Jr. Um, it's, 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 a, it's a movement that, that's coming. Lee Selby is one of my favorite fighters to watch. Carl Frampton. I mean, you can see the rise of the talent level. And it's probably five times smaller than America, so that's not fair to always compare it to America. But um, you know, they got them fighters over there, man. They got they they starting to develop real good fighters. Daniel Du Bois, Joe Joyce. I know he's from French though. Um, they starting to get great fighters, and Asia starting to catch up as well. But as far as this matchup, man, you know, it's pretty much got to see what Regis Progress does in that unofficial WBC tournament. You know, potentially he get, if he can get past Postal, he'd probably be taking on um, Jose Ramirez, who got a, a, a electric stoppage versus my boy Mike Reed last night on ESPN in the second round. Um, but Progress is is a good puncher. You know, um, he's not the most technically fundamentally sound fighter, but um, he does some things in there. He's a good fighter, but I just think Josh Taylor is just a complete package, man. I mean, when you talk about boxing on the outside. And then Miguel Vasquez was getting one of them on the inside a little bit. He made the adjustment, ended up stopping, you know, Vasquez on the inside, who looked to be the better inside fighter for the first half of the fight. And um, Taylor's put, you know, stepped on the gas and, um, you know, and really, you know, beat his body down and worked him on the inside. Um, he beat him on the outside, quick hands, good head movement, good feet. I mean, this, this dude is the, the total package, man. And I, I really endorse this guy. Nothing is 100% sure in boxing. You know, it's not meant that this guy is going to be a world champion, you know, because anything can happen. It's just one-punch sport, you know. Um, but this kid is um, is fabulous. And progress is fabulous as well. You know, he's a good puncher. And when you're a puncher and an aggressive fighter and the competitor that he is, you always have a shot at any fight. And um, I don't know if these guys are on each other's radar, but, um, you know, if they both keep winning, they will be. And this is going to be an excellent fight. And this is a fight that's going to be, you know, electric, you know. And Taylor has the amateur pedigree. And it shows he has to balance the coordination. 
um, po- you know, progress. He he doesn't have that that real fluid fluidity in his game or balance, but you know, he makes up that with intangibles. He has the attitude, the aggressiveness, the nastiness, the power. He got he's a good athlete, and you know, he's ready. He's hungry, and they both are hungry. And two young hungry lions, man, is what we want to see in the sport of boxing. And um, we gonna see, man. We gonna see. I like both of these guys. It's a fight that I definitely will be torn apart, but I will, you know, I will follow Josh. I would pick Josh Taylor as of right now, but things change, you know what I mean? And uh, Progress might go in there, Ice Ice Baby, uh, Victor Postal. And um, he's bigger. He's big, too, and Josh Taylor's big, too. So, you know, these two big junior welterweights, man, and they're going to be battling and, uh, you know, seeing what they got. But it's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We out.